Well, moving on a little bit. So you, you, you obviously win that game, uh, 38-17. I think you threw another four touchdowns, 278 uh, passing. Um, good job by you on that. And so, you, you, yeah, so you guys, you guys move on. You're on the road at Northwestern. First drive of the game. I, I believe it was a scramble play. I don't, I don't know that it was a called run, but you scramble, you get hit in the side. What, what happens then? Yeah. It's pretty weird now being at Notre Dame. The truth can come out for everything. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it was, was it the second drive? First or second drive? I think it whatever. was the first drive. I might be wrong, but it, it very early in the game. That's for sure. I'm, I'm running. Um, I'm wearing a rib protector, the, the Evo shield. Got yeah. it on. There is a little gap between your back plate pad and your Evo shield. It's like that big is how small the gap is. Yeah. And I go down and hit the guy who's tackling me, his knee hit me right in the gap. Um, yeah. Knocked the wind out of me. I knew I've never had the wind knocked out of me like that before. I couldn't even breathe. Um, yeah. Sharp pain. I was like, man, this is, this is definitely different. And then if you remember, it was fourth and one and they were telling everybody to stay on the field. And I, if you watch the video, I'm hunched over. I can barely get a breath. Tony yeah, Jones yeah, yeah. Jr. is asking me if I'm all right. I'm telling him, yes, I'm fine, kind of. Like, I'm like, yes. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, stay out, stay out. It's fourth and one. So I'm thinking, that's fine. We'll run the ball. Well, they call it double slant. So I go to throw, and I throw it, and I'm like, oh, what is this? So I go off to the sideline. Um you know, I'm just like, okay, I can barely get a breath. My ribs are killing me. You know, I feel like something. I never once did I think I broke my ribs. I was, I just, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Um, well, I remember, you know, the game goes on and I'm really trying to not get hit again. You know, I didn't tell anybody on the sideline I was hurt. You know, the, I, I'm pretty sure they felt around. They couldn't obviously find broken ribs, you know, on the sideline with all my pads on. But I remember you know, running a few more times in that game before I get tackled, I'd get down on the ground because I didn't want to get hit there again and have to not, you know, come out, of the, come out of the game and not be able to play. Right. I remember getting on the phone one time. This would be funny because Tommy Reese was screaming at me on the phone. <laughs> we had a good relationship, but he was like, why are you? He's like, you normally don't, you know, drop down to the ground. What are you doing? He's, You're running like a baby. Let's just say he said it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. A baby. And, yeah. and I still didn't say anything. I'm like, all right. You know, he doesn't know that I, you know, have hurt ribs, whatever. Right. So at halftime in Northwestern, they're known for like the smallest locker room ever. Okay. I don't know if you've ever heard about it, but it's so small. So we, get, we all cram in there and I go to the bathroom to go take take a piss. And I fill the toilet with blood, just all red. So the whole whole toilet was At halftime? Yeah. So funny okay. part here, funny <laughs> part here is I still didn't want to tell the trainers because I thought it was a close game at half. I thought, yeah, yeah. If I tell him, was it fourteen seven? I think it was something like that. Yeah, I'm like, if I tell them, they'll probably pull me out. So I went to the smartest guy on the team in the quarterback room. His name's Nolan Henry. Okay. And he was he was doing pre med, so I was like, maybe he knows what's <laughs> going on. So I asked him to come look at the toilet. I'm like, dude, you got to check this out. And he was like, and he was just staring at the toilet, and I'm like. So you don't know? And he's like, <laughs> he like didn't say anything. I was like, all right, no help there. So is this bad? <laughs> yeah, because I'm like I'm hurting and I'm I peeing blood. Like it looked yeah. like, yeah, it looked like cranberry juice. It was oh, like okay. straight straight red. Yeah. So um, I don't say anything. I go play the rest of the game. Was able to. I mean, we had an awesome drive. Was able to pull it on the last play and run into yeah. the end zone. Um just an cr awesome crazy game but at the end of the game that's the one game that we took a bus to because it's close to Notre Dame mind you it's still a two-hour bus drive so with ribs they don't want to give you any medicine because they don't you know they don't know if you have internal bleeding in your liver or kidney or whatever you have it so um you know I had to get back on that bus and that was one of the longest most brutal bus rides ever hitting all these bumps with you know what I had I had a you know, fractured ribs and I had a bruised kidney. That's what I ended up having. So, um, that bus ride was terrible, you know, no medicine, nothing. Yeah. I, on the bus ride back, I like, okay, I got some, like, uh, this is not normal. I could, every bump we hit, I'm an exclusive. I actually ended up standing in the back of the bus with Sam Mustafer and just telling him like, bro, I got to stand for this, for this bus ride. Yeah. 
we get back, um, then we obviously go through all the tests and, you know, that we end up getting an x-ray and I end up having, um, you know, cracked ribs and then, uh, internal bleeding. So I had a, a bruised kidney. So basically it hit me so hard. It hit, hit ribs, hit the kidney, I guess, and bruised them and it ended up bleeding. So had to miss that following week, uh, yeah. against Florida, Florida state. state for the senior night. I'm pretty bummed about about that but they basically told me like if you take a week off your kidneys will heal uh your ribs will always will bother you probably for the rest of the season but that the it's not worth getting hit again in the kidneys and, and having like an andrew lock type of situation you know where right he had yeah, an actual yeah yeah full you know tear in his kidney or whatever he had so had to take that week off but, <laughs> had to take yeah. the week off yeah and i didn't tell anybody so just uh, for people to remember, like you didn't just run the ball in for a touchdown uh, at the end of the game there. You also hit Michael Young on like a 50 yard pass. Oh, yeah. um, and so you think about, I mean, so if anyone, you know, I, you probably find the game on the internet, you go watch that. And you're, you're thinking, okay, Ian book is, is, is peeing blood at halftime and not telling anybody. I mean, that's, that's something, man. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know all that. I thought that I thought that part of it was kind of afterwards, like, uh, like maybe Monday, Tuesday, Right. And it's like, uh -huh. okay, Ian Book's not going to play. Um, I didn't know it was actually during the game. Um, that's something. I mean, that's football. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, it is. I, and that's the stuff that people don't know. And that's the stuff that you got to be okay with people not knowing. It's kind of a cool, right. like for me, that'll always be like a story that I have with my guy. All, all the guys on the team knew, but it's like, yeah, we try to keep our information, you know, in house. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we always talk about keeping stuff in the locker room and, Nobody needs to know that until now when you graduate and you can hop on podcasts <laughs> and, and tell the real version. So, it was crazy. I mean, I, you don't, I peed, peed blood all that whole week. I felt like it wasn't going to go away and oh it finally did. And I guess there's, there's like, even when I would pee like clear and thought I was good, apparently you can test that and find that there's still blood, uh, like blood cells in there that are still yeah. like showing that you're bleeding. So yeah, it was a crazy process. Um,